My dad's Chinese and my mum's Colombian. You've probably seen me on TikTok or Instagram. If this is the first time you'll see my face, please click the subscribe button, please click the like button. Thank you for being here. Well, today I'm going to answer frequently asked questions. A lot of people have asked me how it was like growing up, how was my childhood, having coming from such different cultures. So this video is, I'm going to explain slightly, basically I'm going to go in depth. So I'm going to go a bit into my background. So as you guys know, my dad is Chinese and my mum is Colombian. So my grandmom is from Hong Kong, my granddad was from Singapore and they migrated to Malaysia, Sandakan. Khan. And my mum's from Colombia, she's from Pereira. I was born in London, UK, so hence why I speak English. Uh, my parents met in the UK, so my dad came from Malaysia, my mum came from Colombia, met in the UK. So I'm gonna talk about my parents. So my mum is a very typical, you know, funny, outgoing, very like, outspoken person. La Tipica Latina And now my dad, he's very Asian Like he's very quiet My dad is very reserved, very to himself Doesn't show much emotions Typical Chinese So I think I've basically got 50-50 from both parents So there's times where I'm very loud, very boisterous Very like, say, the Colombian side comes out And there's times where like I'll be very quiet, quite reserved, quiet and introvert um, So I have, my, I have my phases where I'm both Talk about my childhood now So I was raised in London and being raised in London made stuff a lot easier for me. So because London is so diverse, there's so many cultures, I didn't really feel like I stood out. When I went to school, there was a point where I was growing up where everyone had their little groups, so like the Chinese people to the Chinese, like the Indians to the Indians, Spanish with Spanish, etc, etc. I was trying to find my little group. I would chill with the Chinese people, I'm just like, you know, the same for me. I would chill with the Spanish lot, you know, the same for me. So then it got to a point where most of my time I was chilling with the Afro-Caribbean lot. So I was chilling with like, a lot of Jamaicans, Guardians, and that was my whole friendship group for most of my life. So speaking Chinese, Spanish, and English, I speak English because I was raised in the UK, went to an English school. Spanish, I speak Spanish because my mum made sure I spoke Spanish. She always talked to me, si no me hablan español, culi cargao, mi solo me hablan español, me respondan español. My dad on the other hand was pretty much, she was very much laid back. I was sent to Chinese school like pretty much every Chinese kid on the planet. You get sent to school, then you get sent to Chinese school so you can learn your grammar, so you can focus on Chinese. Focus, like, it's hard to focus on Chinese. However, I didn't really feel, from both cultures, I felt like I was more accepted by the Colombian society than the Chinese society. Things have changed now. So, the old generation of Chinese people, they view me as a foreigner and I, they weren't too accepting so whenever I went to Chinese school straight away they would look at me as like yo what's this guy doing here like I was never look I never felt like I was like oh look he's another Chinese day he's learning Chinese you know I felt like look at this foreigner what is he doing here that's how I felt um, I would go to Chinese school and I just wouldn't focus and to be honest at that time there was like a lot of bullying when it came to like the Chinese culture and my appearance was a lot more Chinese when I was younger uh, so yeah like I kind of tried to hide that part of me um, so, which is why I didn't really focus on learning the language. However, now I've started to learn, take Chinese seriously, I'm learning Mandarin. And wait, 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 so to make things worse, my family are Canton, so they speak Cantonese, a different dialect. The, the, the main one is Mandarin. So, there was a point when I was like 16, 15, I was learning Mandarin. Anyway, I've retaken my Chinese, I've started to take it seriously now. So follow me on my journey to catch me speaking fluent Chinese in 12 months because if you guys hear me speak Chinese, it sounds like us. I'm a no sabo kid when it comes to Chinese. But I'm almost aprendiendo, I'm almost aprendiendo. Um, did you have any coach clash? Yes, so I do experience a lot of coach clashes. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm a bit too loud and a bit too, um, too, like, too touchy when it comes around my Asian family and I feel like I'm a bit too quiet or a bit too reserved when I'm around my Colombian family. And certain coaches have certain like um, habits or certain vicios que like I'm not really yeah it's just it's just it's weird. Say for example when we're eating, Colombians have like standard table etiquette. Chinese people have different. So for example when they eat when they're drinking soup they're slurping. <laughs> Me my ears not too used to that so I feel kind of awkward. Now I'm getting kind of used to it because I've been around and I'm more around my Chinese family. But that that's one of the little coach clashes. But with that being said, if there's something more that you guys will know in specific, let me know, put it down in the comment sections below. I want to know, I want to answer your questions. Also, thank you so much if you made it this far. Uh, subscribe, thank you so much for the support that you guys have been showing me. It's been absolutely crazy. Se agradece de todo corazón. Si quieren ver un video en español, okay. Yeah, what language do you speak? First and foremost, what language do you speak? Chinese, sorry, wait, English or Spanish? So I can know what, what language to make videos in. Comment down below. Nos vemos en el próximo video.
Peace.